हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक व्हाई लाइफ इंश्योरेंस इज द बेस्ट इन्वेस्टमेंट इन दिस सिनेरियो वी विल ट्राई टू एनालाइज वेरियस इन्वेस्टमेंट चैनल्स व्हिच आर एग्जिस्टिंग व्हाट आर देयर एडवांटेजेस व्हाट आर देयर डिसएडवांटेजेस ओके बिफोर वी स्टार्ट दैट वी विल ट्राई टू सी व्हाट आर द बेसिस ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट द बेसिस ऑफ योर इन्वेस्टमेंट्स आर फर्स्ट थिंग व्हाटएवर यू हैव इन्वेस्टेड एज एन इन्वेस्टमेंट अमाउंट should be safe and secure under any circumstances your capital should not decrease or should not get eroded in whatever circumstances it is when i say eroded it means equity share market where you invest and your capital is down it should give you a reasonable amount of interest not very less and not very aggressive so both are dangerous actually if your interest is less or does not come to you even if you have invested in a safe investment that's okay your capital is always safe that is what you have to remember in the greed for getting more interest you should not try to lose the entire capital itself okay now interest should be consistent and continuous in whatever invest, uh, investment channel you invest your money the second uh, and the last and the most important point is you should be able to take out your investment at any point of time without any complications it should not be locked forever even though it might be locked during the investment period okay now we will come to various investment channels which are available for us and analyze which are good which are not so good which are not to be gone at all in the present circumstances bank fixed deposits yes then ppf public provident fund share market both equity and debentures sip and mutual funds gold real estate these are the top popular investment vehicles which a common man will try to invest let us not forget let us not take into consideration options futures etfs and all the stuff let us try to remain with the top things which the common 99% of the public would invest okay now let us consider first investment as bank fixed deposit bank fixed deposits have now become less attractive in fact not at all attractive because the rate of interest has been coming down 4.5 percent per annum is the rate of interest in state bank of india private banks may given a little more private companies nbfcs can give up to 8 percent but you have to be cautious about what rating they have and how is their payback that needs to be taken into account so the from the taxation point the interest is taxable from these deposits after a certain limit okay uh, which is presently as um, 1 lakh now no security for the amount of capital beyond 3 lakhs for example if you are going to invest say 20 lakhs in a bank fd if the bank goes bankrupt or if there's a problem you will not get more than 3 lakhs i can quote you an example of bank of punjab and maharashtra yes bank global trust bank all these banks have been very very popular for 10 years also and suddenly it has lost its credibility because of some bad management so remember that private banks are not that great as it appears it might give you a attractive rate of interest as a greed but you need to be cautious about your capital what you invested because it is your hard earned money which you have invested right now excessive charges and penalties are always levied in any bank it might be with your permission or without your permission so that is the state of bank and tfos now let us go to public provident fund this is better than fds no doubt about that but there is a big lock in period of 15 years before which you can only take a loan but you cannot withdraw the complete invested amount okay there is no tax on the maturity of your public provident fund which is a very big factor okay the rate of interest for this also is governed by the government of india which is coming down very drastically at one point of time it was 8.6% which was the best in india now also it is okay which is around 6.7% you never know how much it is going to drop down return but the one biggest disadvantage is today you are going to start investing on a public provident fund but after 15 years when you take the maturity amount where will you invest this maturity amount at that time wherever you are going to invest the rate of interest is going to be very very low now itself it is around 4.5% so after 15 years it could be even 2% or even 1% where your complete investment might be getting you only 1% which is very very less compared to the inflation what is going to happen after 15 years compared to the cash present cash value which is going to be having any worth at all after 15 years so think about it this uh, third one which i'm going to talk about in the share market extremely volatile extremely risky no doubt you might have gains if you have invested in fundamentally very good shares 
but the loss is the one biggest danger in this. You don't know which company is going to come down in the share market at what point of time. Most unpredictable on any future returns. On any future returns. You cannot say that if I invest in this company after 15 years, I'm going to get 100 on 120%. If it comes well and good. But who will predict? People who take a risk get the gains. But people who have also taken the risk have also lost it. Okay. So this cannot be considered for a long-term investment. It can be considered for a short-term investment when the market is going up. You can take off your money whenever the market is coming down. That is the only option I would think that share market can be dependent upon. Otherwise, unless you have an affordability to lose your capital, share market is not the best place for you to invest. Capital gains tax is one of the taxable components here, which you need to remember when you take out and declare to income tax in form 2. Okay. The next is the mutual fund and SIP. <clears throat> mutual fund and SIP were the best investments about, uh, say, six months back before the markets crashed. Okay, it wasn't. Though we say that SIP is a very safe investment, it is also directly related to stock market, or some people may say it is indirectly related to stock market. But whatever it is, the returns of the stock market or the performance of the stock market is direct impact on your SIP. If you see now the NAV values of top SIP companies, it is negative. It is not positive. One which was giving about 12%, 14% and even more than 14% is now negative for the past two or three months. So what do you say about that? So whatever is related or directly impacted with stock market changes, you have to be very, very cautious because you are going to invest your hard-earned money into it. Not sure when this will peak, when this will come down. But definitely it is safer than the share market, but not the best still at any point of time or rather at least this point of time. Now, gold. Gold is another area which has got a lot of uh, increase or spike in the recent uh, few weeks. But gold cannot be considered as a return on investment. It is considered to be an investment only for emergencies. We traditionally used to invest in gold for marriages, for any emergency mortgages and stuff like that. But it was never a return on investment on a regular basis. So don't, no doubt, now it has tested about 5,000 on the 25 carat gold. Still, you need to be cautious because it's predicted that it could be coming down. However, the increase of gold is imminent. It is definitely going to happen. So invest in small portion. The uh, lesson from all these investments is you should try to diversify your investment so that if one area of investment loses, the other areas will catch up and try to give a return without completely negating your investments in all the areas. That is the most important thing. Okay, friends? Now, let us come to real estates. Real estates market is extremely down. The way it was around 2014-15 or rather before, that scenario is very, very impossible to come at least in the next five years. We don't know. There is no buyers in the market at all. Okay. Real estate prices have slashed in all places across the country, be it Noida, be it Chennai, be it Bombay, be it Calcutta, anywhere for that matter. Regulations have also become a huge impact on the profits of uh, real estates because the duties, the stamp paper duties have increased tremendously. Now, even... Real estates have become very risky and unsecured because of, um, you know, no, buyers not available. The, <coughs> excuse me, um, the uh, returns are quite less. And then liquidity is the biggest problem here. And even the rentals are becoming cheaper and cheaper day by day. Apart from all these things, the recurring uh, expenses on the properties like, you know, property tax, then the maintenance of the properties have also gone up. So have a thought about it. Now let us go to the most important and the lucrative investment today, which is life insurance. Now what is life insurance? Why should we go for life insurance at all? Life insurance is a concept where it safeguards your family in the eventuality of your unexpected death. So this is a gold which you are going to keep it as a reserve for emergencies to secure your family. Okay. Now why should you go for LIC or rather life insurance? Investments are guaranteed by the government of India. There is no fluctuation at all. It is the returns are guaranteed, which means government is going to guarantee even if the insurance company becomes bankrupt. It is not unpredictable at all. It is very much predictable what your returns are predictable, what your returns are guaranteed and it is a very good planning investment for the future. There is no impact on the share market or there is no impact on the rate of interest which is getting reduced. So it is independent entity for all these things. Investments are always tax free. The returns what you get from insurance is tax free. It is never taxed. Okay, unless it is a pension. Okay, pension is taxable because it's a 
uh, income in the hands of the assessee and maturity proceeds of any insurance policy is tax free so far apart from that the greatest advantage is even when you are investing you have a income tax rebate so there is double tax which is going to benefit you one is at the time of investment another at the time of when you are taking out maturity which is tax free so double uh, benefits on the taxation for you that is why in your life insurance is very very advantageous for you now when i say life insurance advantage for you then even pension for that matter in a good life insurance company is always an advantage because they lock your interest rate at present who has the guts or which company has the guts to lock your um, investments today and say that i'm going to give you a guaranteed pension from your future or immediate and it will not be affected throughout your lifetime which company has got the darkness to say in today's fluctuating market no company except life insurance companies and which life insurance company i will tell you what so in this pension there are two things called immediate pension and deferred pension both immediate and deferred pensions have interest rates guaranteed that is if i invest about 20 lakhs now so much of amount of pension is going to be guaranteed for me either immediately or after say a deferment period of 1 year or 5 years or even 10 years so when they are guaranteeing your pension amount for an investment now then what more do you want that is the best investment ever you should not shy away from investing in these insurance vehicles or pension instruments for that matter and all the more all the more this is going to be guaranteed by the government of india so what more do you want as an attractive part of pension now where to invest this money insurance or pension the best organization where you should invest is life insurance corporation of india there's absolutely no doubt you can track life insurance performance over the past several decades its market share its creditability the trust factor the customer base and the guarantee given by the government which is the only insurance company guaranteed by the government of india on all the monies you have invested nobody or no insurance company has that guaranteed privilege by the government of india so my sincere suggestion and urge for you to invest in lic both for your long term investments and both for your pension and also for your pension so friends i would highly recommend that if your investments need to be safe if your investments need to have an interest continuously and without fluctuations to have a complete peace of mind throughout your life lic is the best organization for you to invest in any of the plans it has got so take a decision today 98% of the people have visions but only 2% you know 2% succeed why because they take a decision after an analysis 98% do not take a decision and that is why they always regret in life and they always regret and regret finally they go on invest in some hasty things and lose their money so be a decision maker after a good analysis and take your first step towards investment you will never regret in your life especially with LIC Finder so happy investment happy investing for a safe tomorrow my friends wish you all the best